Hello everybody, this is Gary. Today is Wednesday, May 29th, 2019, and I am recording this in Rochester, New York. Um, this is just an update on my schizophrenia and coping with schizophrenia. Um, I'm having a rough time. I didn't get any sleep last night. I have really, really bad insomnia. It's because um, one of my neighbors got evicted a few weeks ago, and <clears throat> someone new is moving in next door. And it's always difficult for me when I have to get used to new people, even though I'm not actually living with them. They will be in the apartment across the hallway, not more than five or six feet away from my door. And it's always difficult for me to get used to somebody new, even though my last neighbor was a complete asshole and he was totally a psychopath. Um, and there's good riddance to him. I'm just saying that it's often very difficult for me to adjust to new situations and new people. That's probably why I had really bad insomnia last night. Um, it doesn't help that I drink too much coffee. If you are psychotic or have any mental disorder for that matter, caffeine is probably not a good idea. It doesn't help, believe me. It only makes things worse. I mean, my insomnia worse. Um, and cigarettes. I smoke. Um, if you don't smoke, I don't suggest you start. If you do smoke, Maybe you should start thinking about quitting because I'm thinking about quitting myself. I mean, I was in the hospital recently for three weeks and I couldn't have a cigarette for three weeks anyways. But I, as soon as I got out, I had a cigarette. Um, so I'm still smoking. But uh, yeah, I'm just going through a lot of new changes. Um, a lot of things that I use, like my uh, bicycle and uh, a few other things were breaking down on me and making it difficult for me to just keep my daily routine, which is important when you have schizophrenia, you gotta keep a daily routine. Write it down on paper and try to stick to it as much as possible um, to keep yourself busy. Me, I do things like Spanish lessons on YouTube. Um, I do extra work on my computer for extra spending money. Um, I just try to keep a daily schedule where I'm doing five or six different things just to stay busy and making these videos as part of that schedule. So that's mainly why one of the reasons I make these videos. Um, and it also helps me cope. So I'm having a really difficult time and getting used to new neighbors is never easy for me. Um, this building has a lot of turnover on people who live here. I've been here one of the longest uh, tenants in this building. Um, it's not an apartment building like you would expect with a whole bunch of apartments. It's more of a house that's divided into individual apartments and not rooms. I got sick and tired of renting just a room from somebody. So that's why I got this apartment a couple of years ago. Um, so in just a reference back to my last video, um, one of the ways to avoid homelessness, since I'm talking about apartments and neighbors and all that, is don't go off your medicine. If you go off your medicine, um, even if you're feeling good or you don't like the side effects, that may be one of the things that leads to homelessness. Um, and believe me, being homeless in the winter is not any more attractive than the side of effects of your medications. Um, it's less attractive and it's very painful physically as well as mentally. So I guess I'm just making this video today just to cope. That's all. I'm having a rough time, um, but I'm in control of my behavior. I'm not suicidal. Um, for those of you who don't know, my sister did commit suicide and my mother died from alcoholism and her mental illness, which was covered up by alcohol. Um, that's why I don't drink and I do drink too much caffeine and I do smoke, but I don't touch alcohol. I haven't had a drink in seven or eight years at least. Um, so I guess that's all for now. Anybody wants to leave comments, I don't censor comments, I don't block people, um, and that's all for now, I guess.